Sing and cook, sing and cook, sing and cook, sing and cook, sing and cook with Harpal Singh Sokhi on Sanjeev Kapoor's Khazana. Today I'm going to make baked Puradoes. And for baked Puradoes, we need to prick the Puradoes with a fork or a toothpick. Like this, all across. Once all the Puradoes are pricked, we're going to wrap them in a silver foil like this. Cut them into squares. Take the Parado. Wrap all around. Now, the Parados have been wrapped. What am I going to do with this? I'm going to bake them in an oven for around about 35 minutes till the time they're just about done. You can check the oven temperature is around 180 degrees. I've got a tray here which is filled with salt. And the parados are now placed. It's baked in a salt bed because the parados, it is said that they acquire salt. I don't know how because they are wrapped in silver foil. But that's a tradition which people say. That's the reason I've also pricked the parados so that they also get uniformly cooked. Till the time the parados are baked, let's do the next step, the filling for the parados. For the filling, what I have here, let me just light a pan. While the pan gets hot, I pour a little oil also, some butter. While the oil gets hot, let me quickly chop some onions. The onions are chopped. Let me throw this onion into the pan. Saute the onion till they are just about translucent. While the onions get cooked, let me quickly also cut this cheeky looking tomatoes. Nice and red. Just like the cheeks of the Venezuela girls. Sexy looking tomatoes. A quick stir for the onions too. You need to keep an eye on the pan as well as everything that you are doing. Take out the eye of the tomato. This is the eye of the tomato. People call it the eye of the tomato. Does the tomato look at you? I think the food also talks, you know. Is the tomato talking to me? It is. Hey, this is a sweet little red tomato and it's saying that I'm going to add this sweetness to the baked potatoes. Beautifully chopped red tomatoes. The tomatoes are chopped, the onions are lightly brown and translucent, just the way I want them. Now, add the tomatoes. Saute the onions and tomatoes together. Now here, I don't want the onions to be cooked or completely mashed. I still want them to be little cubes, just about cooked, not mashed, so that while you feel the bite of the baked potatoes, you get a nice tomato, which is half cooked, but not mashed. Stir for about two to three minutes. Let me add some seasoning to it. A teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of roasted cumin powder, Salt to taste. Black pepper, freshly crushed black pepper. If you like it spicy, add more. Otherwise, half a teaspoon is fine. And juice of a lime. Juice of a lime. This will give the right tanginess to the mixture. Stir the mixture so that the coriander powder, cumin powder, and the lime juice, salt, pepper, everything gets mixed properly. Now, we add little fresh chopped mint. Remove the stems. Chop the mint fine. In goes the mint. The mixture. It's suddenly nice, minty, little lemony, 
the right kind of tartness and the flavor for the baked potatoes. Finally, I will stir in a little cream, two large tablespoons of thick cream and close the gas and remove the pan from the gas range. My potato filling mixture is just about ready. Let me now check the potatoes, which we had put in the oven about half an hour back. Ah, if you can able to press the potatoes, which means they are done. So let me take out the potatoes. My potatoes are just about ready now. So let me cut them with the foil on. Wow, you see them nice and soft. They're just about cooked. The potatoes are baked and cut into half. So for the filling, you need to scoop out the central part. And what I'll do with this mixture is I will put it back into the filling that I've prepared. Remember to keep the foil on because while you scoop, you might damage the potato or you might break the potato. So the foil should be on till the time you scoop the potatoes. Once you scoop them, you can also remove the foil. If you feel like, you can keep the foil on. So let me do for the rest of the potatoes. I have added the potatoes to the filling. Let me light the pan again and mix the potatoes and the filling together. The mixture is ready and the jacket potatoes are also ready. So let me fill the potatoes. A complete heap full of the filling, nice and minty. The potatoes are now ready with the filling. Now, if you feel like they're not standing, just about give a small little cut below so that they stand properly. My potatoes are now ready and they can stand also. So let me just decorate for you. Garnish it with mint leaves. My baked potatoes, Indian style, is just about ready. The nice filling of onion, tomatoes, coriander powder, cumin powder, mint, pepper, lime juice, all in it to make it little bit Indian, tangy, nice, hot and minty. If you want, you can add a little cheese on top and bake it once again. I love it this way. Let me just taste. Baked potatoes, onions, tomatoes, mint and Indian spices. The way I love it. Baked potatoes with an Indian stuffing. You try it once and you'll get back to me for more.